Pulling charges against the man who's behind a local nonprofit meant to help kids. And now this man is behind bars and he is facing multiple felonies accused of using donations to refuge place Indy to pay instead for prostitution. Our John Duran spent today digging through court documents and shares new details tonight about the man accused. Helping the homeless is what Tyree Coleman's nonprofit Refuge Place Indy has always preached, and it wouldn't survive without donations. Police say Coleman, the nonprofit's founder, has been using some of those donations to pay for sex. In at least one case, police accuse Coleman of attempting to solicit a minor. That incident allegedly happened this past summer. Court documents show Coleman told two teenage boys he was a convicted sex offender. He allegedly reassured them. God changed his ways. A short time after that, he allegedly offered one of them, a 17-year-old, $1,000 for sex, which the boy denied. When police checked Coleman's cell phone, they say they discovered he was using cash applications to pay for sex, nude pictures, and videos from many young-looking males. In December, court records show Coleman was paying a man living in his home for sex acts. The man said Coleman was using donations to his nonprofit, to pay for those sex acts. He also told police Coleman sexually assaulted him and allegedly threatened him afterwards. Coleman has been charged with promotion of child sex trafficking, promotion of human sex trafficking, and rape. He's being held in the Marion County Jail under an $80,000 bond. Refuge Place Indy did not respond to our request for a comment. In Indianapolis, John Duran, 13 News.